I'm Wing Song Halo. Um, and today I'm going to be um, finishing this piece of popcorn first. Um, and then I'm going to be reading a um, Pokemon fan fiction called um, Friends Forever Part 4. Um, the last one ended with Ash coming back into the room where Misty was and being horrified at the sight of something. So uh, let's get on that. All right, the summary is, what was it? The worst thing Ash could think of right before him. Yep, that's right. Misty spilt the bag of chips everywhere. No, only a joke. But the worst thing Ash could think of was... Friends Forever, part four. And then a bunch of surprise faces. Hi, all. Thank yous for all the lovely comments. Smiley face. <laughs> You don't know how happy I am. Sorry it took me so long to write the next part. It's just the I had my key stage three tests to do. I'm sorry for the I. And I was out all day till about 2345 with with school the next day. So like I said, sorry I hope yous will forgive me and keep reading my stories. Anyway, you all called me evil for leaving you hanging. Thank you, thank you very much, lol. <laughs> well, here's the next part. Hope you like it. Winky face. P.S. I'm grounded and feeling really sad. With, I'm sorry, with is good, cause this art is sad. Uh, I mean, it's a little generous to call this art, but um, all right. All right. Friends Forever, chapter six. A lover's gasp. Ash couldn't believe what his eyes were seeing. Misty was on the floor, surrounded in a puddle of blood, clutching her side. How would somebody have just, like, broken in and... That doesn't make any sense. They couldn't have gotten in that fast and left that fast. How did they not make any noise? <laughs> this is so stupid. What if she stabbed herself? Hearing Ash come in, she looked up at him with tears in her eyes. It took most of her strength, but she weakly whispered, Ash. Ash could feel the warm tears filling his eyes as he ran over to Misty, kneeling down and grabbing her just as she was about to fall back. Misty! Ash found himself saying as he held her close. Who did this? Ash said as the tear of, oh, I'm sorry, overflooded his eyes and stated to race down his, his checks to race down his checks. He looked deep into her eyes and smiled weakly. I'll find out, and when I do, they'll wish they were never born. Ash lay Misty down and picked up the phone. He dialed 911 and asked for an ambulance ASAP. Returning to Misty's side, he held her close and said, Everything's gonna be awk. You'll see. You'll be fine. Ash felt more tears fall from his eyes and land on Misty's weakly moving chest. Misty looked at him, and more tears ran down her soft checks. Why is everybody so obsessed with checks all of a sudden? Weakly, she said, Oh, Ash, I'm sorry. Misty's face tightened in pain. Oh, Misty, you've got nothing to be sorry about. It wasn't your fault. Shh, save your energy. Ash said as he kissed her on the forehand. <laughs> forehand. I guess that's the, the hand that is on... Um, is I don't know I have no idea I guess it's the if you have four if you have four hands then the hands in front are the four hands I guess as he kissed her on the forehand softly I love you Ash Misty said as she closed her eyes and her body went limp I love you too Misty more than anything else oh Misty don't die on me Ash said as his tears fell faster Ash's chest hurt it felt tight and he found it hard to breathe Suddenly, a young woman and two men appeared in the doorway. The doctors were here. But was it too late? Ash laid Misty head down and got up quickly to let the doctors look at her. Chapter 7. Some things just aren't meant to be. Ash watched as the Tamale doctors put Misty's motionless body into the ambulance. Ash wanted to cry, but he had no tears left. Why couldn't he go with her to the hospital? Was she really that bad? Would he never see her again? 
Ash had so many questions to ask, but all he did was watch the am ambulance race down the street as fast as it could. Suddenly, Ash's blood ran cold. The only thing that mattered to him in the whole world might die any minute. I mean, like, doesn't he have family? To um. And all he was doing was standing in the middle of the street, looking into the night. Ash ran into the house and grabbed the car keys, locking the house door behind him. Ash got into the car, turned the key, and started to race after the ambulance. It only took him about five minutes to get to the hospital. He got out of the car, ran through the <laughs> ran through the door, just like, <laughs> and stopped at the front desk. Breathlessly, he said, "Where did they bring Misty?" The nurse looked at him oddly, then smiled while saying, "Please, sir, take a set, and we'll get to you soon." You don't understand. She might die. I have to see her. I just have to! Ash shouted. He could feel the tears begin to fall again. I'm sorry, sir, but I just can't allow you to go any farther, the nurse said, gritting her teeth. Ash felt all his anger building up. If this nurse didn't let him pass, he might do something he'd regret for the rest of his life. Without thinking twice, he walked right past her. From behind him, he could hear the nurse shouting at him to come back. Oh, no, I'm sorry, shouting him. Him! He walked on. Everything around him started to whirl, as in, like, you know, a, a, a whirl in your hairline. I don't know. His vision became blared, and everything around him sounded as if it was in slow motion. Ash felt his body grow weak. His legs couldn't keep him up anymore. He felt as if he was going to be sick. Then everything started to fall. Ash hit the ground, and the last thing he heard was a nurse shout, Sir, are you Ock? And then a bunch of happy faces, you know, carrot underscore carrot, surrounded with parentheses. Um, and it says, did you like that part? No, I don't like any of these parts. Was the ending awk? No. Is it more readable? Definitely not. Tell me! No. Oh, if you leave your email in the comments, I'll email you and say thanks. I might tell you a little what happens next time equals... Lowercase o, uppercase p, buys, Cass. And, um, that was part four of Friends Forever. And, um, I hope to see you in part five.